All right, guys, we are here for Stone Age Gamers' 16th anniversary. I'm here with one of the owners, Andy. Hey, guys. I know. He's, this is not something he this wants to do. This is not my thing. This is not his thing, but it's I told good. him you guys are a great audience, and we're actually, I'm kind of jealous, Andy. We're in his <laughs> office. If you want to pan around, show Andy's office. Like, you guys can all sit there and drool. I think you must have. I, I think I counted ten Robs. Is that? There's a few over there. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Nintendo Powers. He's got Game. We got everything. Handhelds, and I spotted the Turbo Express. I've been wanting one of yeah, those for a while. Yeah, it's a cool system for sure. I actually modded my um, PS Vita, soft modded it okay. to play yeah, like yeah. Retro Arch and do Great all that kind of stuff. Games, yeah. yeah, so you have all that. Um, so we're gonna actually take a tour. We're gonna take you guys behind the scenes. And show you a little bit before we get out there to where the crowd is. We're going to show you, if you buy something online from StoneAgeGamer.com, what you get. So, Andy, yeah. why don't you take us All through? Right. Jaguar here. Yes. Let's, but, um, let's yeah, this stop is, here. Uh, this is our just basic equipment. We got a laser cutter, CNC machines. We actually just got a brand new UV printer. Uh, our other owner, uh, Ryan, uh, just came down from Michigan for this party and he brought that with him. And uh, yeah, we just got, got it set up. So one of the prizes right. we're doing is a modded GBA. Uh, nice. We put our Sweet 16 logo on there. We're going to do a raffle for that later for those that were a uh, part of the party uh, that we sold the tickets for. So, so this here is where, if you guys seen the uh, flyer that I put out as well, this is where you know that's going to do all the cutting on it and and the um, inscribing. Yeah. Would that be mm -hmm. right? And behind you uh, here, right you, there's here? just a lot of shells and things. Uh, Some parts, virtual parts boys. systems, virtual boys. We've torn apart. We do a, we do like a virtual ribbon uh, fix for the permanent fix for the eyepieces, things like that. So a lot of these are the carcasses of consoles and parts and pieces. Uh, we do store some of our cartridge shells Here's as well. Some. We have a lot of different colors. Uh, we do a lot of that with our EverDrives and flash carts. We uh, we offer a whole bunch of different options. So that's for really those. cool. So that machine, so that will actually then put your logo on it. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. the plan. That's what we're that's hoping to be cool. able to do. Uh, it's a new thing, so we'll see, but uh, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Here's the, for those that remember, the Legend of Zelda for the NES. Cause that's one of the things we're doing here too. We're looking to find that anomaly sure. that I could find for my collection. You guys know I'm trying to get the whole North American collection. Uh, my wife is watching your comments, so we're gonna hit her when we get all the way up into the store. And Daniel is also watching comments, so leave your comments. And we'll have them for Andy, questions yeah. that you have. Uh, we're watching on, on all the platforms right now. So, so back around here, we do have our stations where we put the EverDrives together. All these labels go on them. Uh, we have some drill presses. We have, uh, you know, screws and different things. We just basically piece them together, um, you know, and that's how they uh, get assembled, basically. That's very cool. And then behind us here is where Tony's we'll, we'll hiding. We'll come in here. Uh, actually, our two monitors are down here, both Tony and Jackson. So, I so you want to talk guys. about this right here, the retro brighting? Yeah, so first. we have a retro brighting tank here, and this is an ultrasonic cleaner. We do a lot of our cleaning of the consoles and different things in there. Uh, you name it, we can, you know, clean it up, basically. So, so it goes from yellow to hopefully it's original white. Yeah, close so if you guys you are wondering what retro bright is, if you've never seen it, this is what they look like when they come in. And we'll just kind of use this as an example. Um, this is what it hopefully looks like closer to that closer yeah. to that when it goes out sure. right um, which is a lot of fun so, so Tony's so, taking a look at the Jaguar here <laughs> so this is my personal Jaguar that we brought in and trying to play some of the games that uh, you know are, are licensed that came in but then also some of my personal ROMs and this is what I got too. I had a loading ROM yes. and it sat there, or it would just do the Jaguar screen where yeah. it was just red. red. Yes. Just red. So, yeah. but it plays regular games. Just it was playing them regular fine. Um, yeah, what's wrong with it? Oh, do you? Yeah. Yes. He did. See how? Actually, Jackson found it. So, if you guys send in your consoles or you visit here, these are the guys that work on them. So, what do we got? If you look down in here, you want to bring close, that camera in here? You. There you go. Look in there. If you look down in here, okay, there's a couple little pins that are possibly oh, bent. Oh, I do see that. Okay, the two little pins that are bent, and this is you know ours. You look down in there, the pins are not oh, bent. Oh, that's how I bought it. That's and, how they came in. Right, and we found out that some of the the games themselves, the real games, 
they don't use necessarily use all the pins okay but the uh game drive uses some of the pins that are not used in some of the games and andy will tell you i didn't blame the game drive right i did <laughs> not didn't. blame the game drive i said there's something right must be wrong with yeah. my jaguar is it fixable um if we can find a pin connector or see if we can get in or straighten them out okay and not break them okay. straightening them out so that's tricky well if you can that's straighten the them out part. if that's you the can the straighten part. them out and get them if not uh, we'll have to order one and come back yeah. for it but uh, yeah. be great. So this is what happens. So you guys don't just do Jaguar. You do Sega CD. I mean, here's a graveyard if you want to look. <laughs> These guys got a lot of stuff here. And you guys also modded my um, Game Gear. You did my Game Gear and you did my Nomad. You put a new LCD and you also right. did uh, and you also did um, recapped it and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. behind Jacks, we get like all of our. Cap kits all from like console five and stuff. We keep all those in stock for all the older consoles and whatnot. And, and awesome. all the different uh, mods that we uh, try to keep all the parts in stock for. I, I did a complete overhaul, not capping, but I changed the CD drive out of my Panasonic 3DO. I got it really dirt cheap and I found, and they're like next to impossible to find on eBay. Are they? And I got it and I threw it in there and it works like a charm now. It plays all um, burn games so I can copy my games over and leave them on the shelf because I got some that are unopened uh, in that 3DO process. So, yeah, man, it'll be interesting to see if you can, see if get, can get this to, uh, if you can get it. Get it to work. If you can't and I have to order one of them, just let me know. Uh, yeah. Or, you know, you guys order it and then get it fixed and then just give me a call. But, yeah, um, but yeah at least I know. It's not the game drive. You guys followed my short. I knew something was wrong with my Jaguar. And I was asking everybody. I'm like, anybody see this? And they're like, yeah, it's probably something with your Jaguar. So sure enough, that didn't take long, guys. 15 minutes, he was on it. All right, we'll let you back to it. Let's uh, hey, let's follow Andy out of here and see where see where we're going next. said was that Dr. Brackish Okun from Independence Day lol and then Goofyfoot also said cool place and then Adam Cow wrote in like bold Heaven. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Stuff, well, right? what you're seeing now, this is our Stone Age Museum. So we have all of our consoles kind of in a museum for people to kind of see. We don't sell the ones out of there, but we usually have most of what's in there for sale. But we kind of have a generational thing going on there. Uh, the third one down there has some of the more uh, rare things. When we get over there, you can kind of look at that. But yeah, that's that's basically our kind of little nice homage to all video games that we could fit in you know three cabinets. So. Yeah. And then what do we have back here? Um, just just various products and things. Uh, today we're doing uh, some raffles and giveaways and different things um, and, and things for the tournament. So we've got a custom Dreamcast and a custom GBA. Uh, this is the one we screen. Uh, oh, that's cool. We UV printed the logos on there. Get a close up. Um, you guys says Stone one. Age Gamer. That's really cool. Yeah, I can turn it on real quick, but uh, basically we had to put the Sweet 16 Mary Kate. That's really cool, in though. In there, you know, they have to have that with it. Oh, so. yeah. But yeah, that's uh, one of the giveaways, and uh, we're doing a few other things. But uh, yeah, back in the corner there, we have a Nintendo World Championship tournament going uh, set up, and people can enter and try to win some prizes, basically. And and uh, I know you walked past it, but you can get a shot of it. We got some heavy hitters down there, so a lot of the guys are always looking for 
heavy hitting games. These are like probably like your rare ones. Like you find uh, NFL football 14, uh, or excuse me, NCAA football 14. That's one. Uh, what the last college football last game that was that came out for Sony? Um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. They're funny. They're great. And go ahead and pan around up at this stuff because we don't want to get a double. What do we got? What's some of the comments? Saying, this is literally heaven. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and is there any specific questions? So what do we got here? We got some. This uh, is some of the uh, uh, Switch uh, Nintendo. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they make a little case. We up. carry a few of those. You guys can see this. It's actually a Nintendo Switch game. A storage case. The, yeah, that's really cool. And it then comes you have with like little, eight of them that you can put your different games in, and then it's got a bigger case to hold all the little oh, ones. Oh, that's sweet. And yeah. then you got the Jaguar CD, which has eluded me. <laughs> um, but I do have that Panasonic 3 d 3 is great. It's one the of my favorites. PSX, that is rare. That's a cool one, yeah. Um, if you haven't seen one of those. So that's, you got the Neo Geo CD. So you Neo Geo fans that have deep pockets, God bless you. <laughs> I would love to collect for that. Absolutely. Um, you got some plushes up there for your game rooms. And uh, we we'll want to take them around here to the front. Let's take you over to the elusive. This is where I spend a lot of time when I come in here. The Nintendo is, cabinet. Yeah, because I know I have a big task ahead of me. <laughs> There's something you don't see. A lot of times when people sell the Robs, you usually see them without the box. Absolutely. Here that's they a, have that's a pretty rare box, yeah. I have that actually set. Mm -hmm. That's how my Rob, it came in there. I did some work on it, got it, him moving. But if you're, you're not a, a collector per se of, of it being original, they have like the original Nintendos. Yeah, uh, we got a the lot cool of them boxes. that we reshell and different things. So you've got yeah. a lot of different uh, modded ones in here, um, you know, that are just various. Uh, oh, you have the Pikachu Nintendo yeah, some 64. Some of them have HDMI in them. Some of them have modes or ODEs in them. Everdrives, we bundle with some of them. Um, I think this one down on the bottom, he did a black cherry with like a, a smoke bottom and a watermelon top, you know, just different <laughs> things like that. So yeah, we, we, we can uh, make them look, you know, almost however, uh, however you want them to look, basically, with all the shells and different things. We got, you even got a full arcade here? You yeah, so we got some pinball and uh, some arcades. We moved a couple out so we can make room for our, uh, our tables today for our event, but uh, uh, we do have the pinballs still here and a few kiosks over here, actually, too. I might need, do you have any um, of the copies of the World Championship game? Uh, I don't like, think Even if they're have, remakes. Right. The repro. The repros. I mean, it's possible we might have one of those. I might one have one to get one of those around. and just play. But they're I tough to find fun. these days for I sure. I know. That's why I was sick of the repros. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. today we have uh, an Atari hooked up with uh, a uh, awesome uh, homebrew, actually. Well, this is on a flash card, but a game called Ricky and Vicky. Really cool platforming game for the Atari that really has no business being as cool as it is, <laughs> but it, it's special stuff and the you know, cartridge itself can make it you know, better than a real Atari game ever was, basically. But it's an excellent game. If, if you guys have not heard of it, I would definitely check it out. Um, I think you can get the digital copy. It's even on Steam. But this is on a game drive. So this we actually have a, a exclusive deal with. We uh, bundle this with the game drives that we sell. So we actually give that ROM for free, and they can load it up and have some fun with that game. But yeah, we're displaying that today. And next to that, we have two Virtual Boys. These are running uh, a link cable for hyper fighting. So these are running off of a, a Hyper Boy flash card and basically you can play two player Street Fighter 2 which uh, it was a port for the Virtual Boy called Hyper Fighting. Uh, excellent port. It's 3D Street Fighter. You know if you've ever mm. imagined playing that game in 3D this is it. So uh, yeah we have a couple of those on the demo today for people to kind of play around with. And then he's got some swag so if you haven't come down here. Yeah I'm be we're giving away a little bit of swag today to everybody who comes in the door. So and This is this is a nice piece too. The, yeah. You don't see this often. The, the N64 my brother probably remembers this one he was a big N64. You got some guys here playing uh, Mario Kart, which is a classic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so they've got some different kiosks yeah, here. Yeah, we love kiosks. The rare ones in the corner there. I was this just going to say, we got to show the Vectrex. So this is a super rare kiosk. Very, very tough to find. Um, our uh, other owner actually restored this a little bit because it was kind of rough when we got it. And um, he had to even like create the artwork over that wasn't there wow. and it was a chore. But um, yeah, it looks great now and uh, we're happy to have it. Uh, people try to buy it off us, it's not for sale. It's like, <laughs> it's like our pride and joy, so it's say, not for sale. <laughs> they're gonna start throwing it out. Glenn from yeah. Glenn's Retro Show, he's gonna be like, I want it. Uh, and this is our Atari games and uh, Sega games on this shelf. Uh, yeah, a little bit even of some Odyssey there. stuff down here. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So the old stuff gets put some front center. Sega. 
we like our Atari. <laughs> um, across from here, we got the arcades, the other kiosks. So we do have a Saturn kiosk. Uh, that's one of the cooler looking ones, I think. Uh, I've always liked the Saturn one. Oh yeah. Um, See, I'm a yeah, I'm always with Sega. So I would, I want a Dreamcast one. That's yeah, like that's my, a good one too. I and have then, a I have a PlayStation one. Yeah, the red tent's fun too. We got Mario playing on there. Um, that's a great system. Uh, two player on each side. If you want to get a four player, they have like a tennis four player and different things. But yeah, it's a cool uh, system for sure. And Daniel and Sam are enjoying Pac oh, this Pac-Man yeah, Pac and, and Neo Geo. Yep, Neo Geo is a great platform as well. Um, if you want to look in the window, we do have our kind of crazy stuff out here. We have a yeah, we'll TV out. man. I don't know how well it'll show with the sunlight, but he's playing a bunch of old video game commercials. Basically, we have some retro pies hooked up running commercials nonstop uh, on a lot of these TVs. Um, kind of a really crazy thing we just decided to do one time. Let's see if we can get a shot up here, too. We'll see. If you're ever in the area, Salem area of Ohio, this is the storefront. And we'll just pan around. This is a nice area. You guys got a nice, uh, you got some parking, public parking yeah. in the back, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Now me, I, I parked on the side road over here. Sure. I like the, I like the, the little towny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where you can walk around. Right. Um, even the Sega. Now, was that custom made? This was a very. Because uh, it's Baltimore. It wasn't. It, there was like two or three of them made. This sign was made for the arcades, the Sega City arcades. Okay. So we've got one for Baltimore. Um, I think there's only two or three that were made. Uh, we got real lucky and found this on eBay years back, and it, it doesn't. You can't really see it now because you got to wait till it's dark, and this thing just shines. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. So you'll have to, uh, yeah, if you're around, around later, check that thing out in the dark. It, it pops. And it's Sonic. Really nice. The Sonic. That's a six, seven foot Sonic that we got. He's pretty cool. Too. He's kind of, you know, hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> and in here, she does have some questions for us, uh, for the community here. Yep. Um, okay. And Bob, you just want to pan around. They got some Nintendo Powers, some Game Player magazines yeah, up there. What do we got here? Vino there. Sekmo says that's the most virtual boys I've seen in one place. <laughs> Uh, get off my lawn says Saturn needs to come home to me. <laughs> Saturn needs to come home to <laughs> and, and get off my lawn also says, is that the McDonald's red tent? Only glanced at it. The red tent? I don't know if they had a McDonald's, maybe. Not anymore they don't have a McDonald's. They may have had some in there. I'm Did they sure. have it back at, we glanced over it, you might have not caught it, but here we'll get a shot. This is the Nintendo red tent. Uh, they have. You said it has Mario. On it. I, I'm right not familiar with Mario with this. on it, but uh, yeah, you can you can put other games on it, obviously. But right now it's oh, running. It's got Mario because it original says Mario. versus tennis. So I'm you, like, you yeah, we have the marquee in there for versus tennis. So that's what okay. it came with originally. But yeah, okay. we, uh, we got Mario running in there right now. So so you got your standard Mario. Yep. I'm playing this one-handed, so don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not going to be winning any 1990 uh, championships, world championships with this, but we're going <laughs> to... Doing pretty good for one-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. We get to this part. Let's get the... Ah, oh. uh -huh. uh, he's not moving. There we go. I was pushing it the wrong way. Let's see if I can complete the level without... Let's see if I can get the fire flower up here. Whoop. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Oh, we're not, um, uh, uh, my hand came off of it. Let's go. Let's just see if I can complete the level here one-handed. Let's go. We're almost there, right? Getting there. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to create my own, own Nintendo championships, playing it one-handed. <laughs> there we go. I only got 100 on it, but hey, <laughs> doing it one in and we got not it. Not bad. Um, but boy, I forgot how good the picture was on this thing. Right now it's not in gameplay, but we had a GameCube hooked up last night, and it's a gorgeous picture, but the sound on those things, I forgot. It's like a subwoofer, and it's a phenomenal. Wow. So Yeah, I was happy to, we dug this out in the back room. It's been in, back there forever. We're like, okay, we're getting it out for this event. Um, That's really cool. Yeah. It's so, clean, too. It's it's crazy, yeah. I, love well, it. I mean, for as old as it is. Yeah, if it, it wasn't so heavy, they would be great, you know, still to this Day, but nobody wants to move these things. So. I got a flat screen. I think it was a Trinitron. I think I got it on Facebook Marketplace for ten bucks. Oh, Somebody yeah. had it. It was, mad, but it's yeah. but it's smaller screen, obviously. Right. Um, yeah, this one's still pretty, pretty, still pretty cool. Pretty, pretty crisp to this day. So oh really yeah, there's a Super Scope. We haven't seen them since we were yeah, kids. There's a Menacer up there too. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Xbox. That's one I still need to get. I need to get just the box mm -hmm. for the Xbox. Oh, we got plenty of those. Um, we'll have to get. And let's see here. We got the Mario Maker. 
Do you guys get any of the signs in that you sell too? I know a um, lot of the guys looking for game room signs like the Nintendo. And yeah, we don't usually hard, sell signage too much. We do have some little signs we've ordered, like just kind of you know lit signs and, and things like that that are okay. not the official old authentic ones, you know. But um, they're still kind of cool. But yeah, let's take a pan around. Uh, let's start at the top here. Look at the games that are out there. If these guys are seeing any games, they also got uh, Nintendo Power strategy guides. If you guys are interested in that little knickknacks, you guys saw it in the I had I uh, bought here a Mario and a uh, right here like this the Mario yeah. bit, and I have a link that I got here. You guys, some of you guys asked where I got them in my game room. This is where I got them. So they have a lot of that stuff here. I'd never seen them before. Yeah. I came here and I was like, oh, I got to get one. So my brother's going to pan around here. He's going to let you check out some of the games that are available here. If you see anything you need or looking for certain areas. Um, I know Mr. Rightway, Steve Wright, buddy of mine, he's trying to collect for the whole PlayStation greatest hits. Okay. From greatest hits all right. from PS1 all the way up. This would be a good place to find them. We just got, took in a huge PlayStation collection not that long ago. Okay. Uh, when he gets over to the PS section, there's a lot of good titles there. But if you want to pan back around, there's even a bunch up there as well. There's some back there. Uh, wow. There's a lot of good titles, honestly. Uh, um, really nice collection. We took him from one of our employees, actually. He collected PlayStation for years and years wow. and uh, finally partnered with it and uh, we took it on. So, um, yeah, a lot of the Good ones have disappeared, but there's still a lot left from that collection. So. My console room is getting filled, but I'm to the point where I, I did. I saw you had an arcade one up back there. Yeah. I'm to the point where like I have about 30 of them oh. in one of the rooms, yeah. and it does look like an arcade. Right. Yeah. But I'm to the point where I might have to part with some of them to get yeah <laughs> more console stuff going. Sure. Because my wife's not going to let me do anything. Yep. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> so. We have a lot of these classics. And you guys got the same type of yeah, cases. Yeah, so those are big the... boxes. We do have some games in those, you know, just uh, available. We sell them separately. Okay. You can go online and order them with, with or without the artwork, you know, kind of a thing. And then they've got Game Boy Advance. Yeah, in lots here. of loose, different games there Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, lots of portable stuff with those drawers there. Okay. But yeah, the PlayStation, uh, we just reloaded a lot of those long boxes that are on top there that kind of came out of the back room uh -huh. here. Um, so there's some pretty decent ones there, but. Yeah, that, that, that shelf just got restocked yesterday, so, so lots of cool stuff. Okay, we got a question or yes. comment? Come, uh, Get Off My Lawn says, can we see your TurboGrafx-16 collection? Oh, that's a good, are they in the, in the line here, any of the um, TurboGrafx We don't games? have a lot of TurboGrafx stuff to be oh, honest I know. with you. Yeah, I don't know, that's a he, tough one. He sees my hat, uh, and I was like, because I was looking too myself. Yeah, I have, I have that's one system, we've had some stuff before, but boy, it sells, it really does. So I don't heart. think we have much left for Turbo. I've seen a few loose games floating around, but there's not a lot out in this, uh, the store right now, I don't think, uh, for that particular platform. I buy them and I usually leave them in their packaging if, mm -hmm. they come, if I get it in complete in box like I had, yeah. and I just play the EverDrive. Yeah, the now we did actually uh, had a guy was trading some in earlier, really? uh, I noticed, and I think uh, uh, we did take those in, so I'll have to peek uh, I'll and, around. And he's peeking around in the meantime. We are we are looking at some PlayStation, PS3, PS4. If there's a game specific you're looking for, let us know in the chat room, and we will bounce up. Oh, Andy actually found some. We so got here's a few trade from a recent trade, and this oh, is one you just man. definitely do not see all the time here. So yeah, there's a couple. Uh, Keith Courage, everybody. Oh, comes yeah, across. Keith Courage is good. Yeah. yeah, we just had somebody trade these in earlier today. Oh, Lazy Laser, excellent shooter. And Bonks, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a good game. Everybody's got to have Bonk for Turbo. Oh, my God. But yeah, these just literally came in today. Uh, just as I'm talking about uh, <laughs> we never get Turbo stuff, there you go. It, it did come in, along with a 32X uh, game as well. So there you go. New Adventure Island, that's a great game. So. If you're interested in anything from uh, Turbo Graphics, uh, let us know in the chat room. Again, you can email me, Steve, at ttbgaming.com. Make sure you have your shipping information, phone number, and I'll get it over to Andy with what you want. Don't just say, hey, I want something from Stone Age Gamer, because that's not going to help him, Right. and we can get it over to you. But there's a, there's a lot of you know memory cards, if you need memory cards. Um, listen, like I said, I'm 40 minutes away. I've always come in here and have found something that I can't get like at my local exchange, yeah. GameStop. So I think that's what's really cool is the yeah. selection. We were up in Erie because we were on uh, we're on vacation this week, so we were up in Erie at a water park. My brother goes, hey, there's an exchange down the road and there's a Goodwill. We went in there. There's like nothing. Like you can find all that stuff. Yeah. But you figure in a new area. But here, I mean, you can find greatest hits. Some of these ones you just can't find anywhere yeah. else. So you've got a plethora of it around so checking out um, if you're into the plushies 
I like to have those around the game room. I think yeah. they look kind of cool. Um, and the kids are having a ball. <laughs> got. I don't even think Dean know what to do with these. The, did the, you guys try? Did you, did, you, did you try one of the? Did you look so, at? It? Did you try playing it? No. It's probably on single player now. But if you go to Versus, you can like link up and do two players. I put it in. It's all. It's it's like virtual. It was like their first stab at virtual reality. It doesn't give you a headache at all. Play for hours, kids. <laughs> Trust me, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, they'll be like, I got a headache. I don't know why. <laughs> Xbox 360, we hit all that. These, um, have these you seen ducks. the tubs before? Yeah, these were. Um, who sells these? New Wave, not New Wave toys. Um, the UK company. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of what their they, name they is. They make some uh, of the micro or the mini arcades too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They make the. Uh, New Wave Toys is doing it, but also I'm, I'm trying to think of this company. Yeah, it's, it's, it's escaping me as well. I don't well. do a but yeah, lot of their UK, stuff, but they um, have the, the yeah. bigger arcades that you can... They do. They have the larger ones. Uh, I'm a big fan of a lot of those. Yes, so they're pretty I, cool. I stumbled upon the ducks, and I had to have I'm some. I'm surprised my story. daughter didn't confiscate this yet. <laughs> she might not have seen it. <laughs> she didn't see it until now. She's, she's big on... Uh, yeah, we do have some statues and stuff. That's a yeah. bulky item, so we don't carry a lot of those, but there's some floating around the store. Um, the Evercades, we just put these out. We usually have those oh, in the back yeah, room. There you go. So that's our selection of the games right now. Uh, we did get the portables in not too long ago, um, but we have the home console as well. But that's a great little platform. Um, you know, to, if you want the games without the expense of yeah, the console. Yeah, $20. All yeah. the games are 20 bucks. They you know, come with a physical you know, cartridge, manual, you name it. Data um, East. Lots of good you know, packages they put together on those. It's very cool. Funko Pops, that's another big thing I'm finding out there, you know, like even her, she's like, oh, Funko Pops, like they're starting to get into the uh, collecting like, them. Yeah. More. 